Hi, I'd like to show you an example of creating an engraved sign using ArtCam Insignia. So, here we have my starting piece and I have just imported a base from the Relief Clip Art Library. Here you can see we have quite a few bases already modelled for you so you can just grab one of those and just drop it into your piece and this saves quite a lot of time having to model bases. You can also create your own and then just drag and drop them into this folder or any other folder that you desire. So this will save you quite a lot of time creating various sign bases. So I'm just going to close the clip art library and I'm going to go into my 2D view. Here you can see I have a fairy and this is just a black and white image but you can see there are lots of different shades of the black here and I'm just going to do what we call a bitmap to vector so I'm going to turn this image into a vector first of all I'm going to just reduce the colors down to a workable number so let's change this down to 2 so it's just a black and white image and OK that just leave the default settings and create vectors. If I now turn my contrast down, now you can see it's created vectors for all of the parts of the fairy. So I'm just going to turn that back up and I'm just going to turn off my bitmap just so you can see the vectors on their own and I'm going to choose this as my vector layer, the finished vectors. So here you can see I have created four pieces of bitmap to vector artwork. These are from three different images and I've just mirrored that image over to here. The fairy forest text that was actually created using the font creator just have that open here and I'll just show you that briefly so here we have the font creator and this is the font that I created called leaf and if I select create it will open up the whole of that character set I'll just select let's say for example the B now you can see I've gone into the B and if I click my assistant and I can start changing various aspects or create a completely new font so I can go into node editing for example and let's say I wanted this to be like so and I can just change my font to whatever suits my needs I could also create let's say another leaf there So it's entirely up to yourself as to the limits of the font creator. So I'm just going to switch back to my engraved sign. So there you can see I have the basis of my sign. If I go into the 3D view and show the vector visibility, there it's showing the engraving on top of the base and here you can see I have created some toolpaths so this is just a basic machine relief so this is just going to rough the piece out and then it's going to do a finishing pass over the top of the of the base so I'm just going to simulate this now you can see that's creating the roughing pass just to rough out most of the material and this is creating the finishing pass just going over the top of the base so there we have the base machined and all that's left to do now is to add some detail to it so next 
I used a texture tool path and if I just switch my vectors back on and just have a plan view what I've done I have used two boundaries here and here just to set the outside and inside dimensions for this texture tool path and I'll just simulate it and then explain to you what it's actually doing so there you can see it's creating a texture just on the top of this face here and what it's doing it's dipping the tool in and out of the material just to give it various heights and depths so there you can see it's giving me quite a, a rough looking sort of surface there and this is all generated by using the tool this was not created using any reliefs or any 3D work this was just created using two two dimensional vectors and here we have the V-bit carving so I'll just simulate that there you can see it's creating the carving for the fairy and the flourishes on the left hand and right hand side and also at the bottom if I just zoom in on the fairy you'll be able to see it a little bit better and you can see that looks quite nice if I just zoom back out and I've also created a raised round so I'm just going to simulate this toolpath this is for the fairy forest if I just zoom in on the A here there you can see what's happened is just by using the tolerances within the raised round toolpath it's allowing me to create a rounded wall section for the text so if I just go into that and then you can see the possibilities with it so I'm just going to edit that and here you can see you can select the size of wall profile that you'd like I can just drag the handlers and move that to create the sort of pattern that I want or I could give it specific sizes for it so I'll just close that and finally all that needs left to be done is to cut the part out so I'll just simulate that for the profile there we have a finished engraved sign